there, YouTube? I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different tabletop board game every weekday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and give my honest thoughts on how that Kickstarter is being ran. Once again, not review the game, but review the Kickstarter itself. It's kind of weird, but if you enjoy that kind of weird stuff, please sure to click on that subscribe button down below as I'm trying to reach 9,000 subscribers celebrate my nine-year anniversary of making YouTube content. But today, I am insanely hyped to be talking about the 20... I think it's like the 21th... 21st most popular project on product design so that's my first red flag here this is flex mba an augmented reality board game that brings pro sports to life that sounds really exciting to me so first thing i'd recommend is ar is a term that i don't think everybody knows like i think a lot of people know and people in the know of ar know about it but augmented reality uh, I, I would I would extend that for the people who might not be sure what you're talking about right there. Turn-based board game featuring NBA players also has connectivity to a mobile companion app. This is all very exciting to me as an NBA fan, especially with the play-in games coming, uh, you know, next week and the playoffs starting. I'm super excited about the NBA, and I like the fact they're launching at this time. I think they're trying to capitalize on the fact that a lot of people are really into the NBA right now, you know, with the Nets and the Lakers and these super teams. So, launching it now great time but once again how about we get this in games or tabletop games even better because it is in fact a board game and <laughs> it's just odd you put it in product design so they've already funded though it's going to happen that excites me to no end so as always when i go into the video i'm looking for three things do i want it can you do it and how much is it hopefully you can convince me of at least one of those in this video right now let's go introducing flex nba the first ever board game that fuses professional sports with the latest in digital... Okay, wh why... If you have the NBA license, why do we have a generic white dude dunking the ball? Like, and, and that, it has nothing to do with the race either. I don't care if it's an Asian person or a black guy or whatever. Just why do we have a generic person dunking the ball? Why isn't this Steph Curry or LeBron James or Giannis? Like, if you have the NBA license... Use the NBA license, right? This video contains demo footage. Only the artwork, game pieces, gameplay experience, and companion app are subject to change at any time. Okay. Okay, that's odd. Digital sports with the latest in digital technology. James. Play as your okay. favorite NBA players using their superpowers. To that doesn't look bad. That is, I mean, it doesn't look exactly like Jimmy Butler, but it doesn't look bad. Take down any opponent. Customized, hand-drawn artwork. What? Okay, showing off the D12 there. I like that. Giving me the... Oh, okay. What's up? Oh, all right. This is a game game. The best artists around make these flex tiles true. So that's why we had the generic dude at the beginning. I'm going to guess they do not have the license to use the actual player's images, but artworks of those images are okay, which I'm perfectly fine with. You know, this is perfectly fine it's just, I'm, I'm assuming that's why we got that generic dude dunking at the beginning. Only one of a kind. Download the Flex app and exp Yeah, once again, you can see artwork. Great artwork, though. So no issues with that. Experience a new level of that's cool. What? Okay, that was neat. That was neat. Uh, once again, like, this needs to be in tabletop games. I think you can get a lot of people excited about this, especially if their kids are into basketball. Support from the NBA and the MBPA. What was, what was the NBPA? The National... Oh, the oh cool, the Players Association. So this is awesome. This is great. This is great stuff to have. It makes me feel comfortable. It's a nice warm security blanket around this game. NBPA and backers like you, Flex NBA will make history. Flex doesn't change the game. It is the game. That was cool. It was cool. Uh, okay. So, do I want it is a... Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely very interested. I'd like to know more about the gameplay here, about what's going on, about what style game this is. I feel like that could have been interweaved into the video a little bit better. But, nonetheless, I'm excited. Let's keep going. So, first created, zero backed, always looks bad, always looks like you're just here for a money grab. Uh, go back 40 things for a dollar each. <laughs> you know, and all of a sudden, it's zero, first created, 40 backs, and it's like, oh, look, Sequoia Games is a member of our community. All right, so FlexNBA.com, we got a website. We have two people here, so in theory, as collaborators, so we should have some decent customer service going on. So hopefully that is the case. Huh, can't reach this page. That's not a good, that's not a good thing. Like, here's, here's an idea. Just take that down. 
<laughs> like right now, because that that really reeks of unprofessionalness. And I think that's the kind of thing that can turn people away from your project immediately because this isn't just a board game. This is an augmented reality experience you're pitching. And if you can't even pitch up a website, it doesn't look that good for you when you're saying you're going to pitch up an augmented reality board game and you don't have anything, you know, this is your first created. Like immediately, my can you do it senses are tingling. So hopefully you can reassure me. So there we go. We got some awesome artwork. Officially licensed by the MVP. We already talked about that, but it's good you want to mention that right up front because you're like, hey, don't worry, this isn't going to get taken down. Introducing FlexABA, the world's first board game that fuses professional sports with augmented reality technology. Once again, say the word. It's not a bad word. Say it. Stop saying AR. Or at least, you know, tell me what augmented reality is and then do the AR next to it. You know, that's a very common thing, but not everybody knows what AR is. Flex your player's superpowers and use special FX tiles that evolved into mega powers. It's time to smash every opponent. That sounds cool. So it's kind of like, oh, Steph Curry's heating up. So now he's got his super mega power. Is that how it's going to work? Like, that sounds really awesome to me. Once again, you know where that'd be great? Interweave it into the video. Let me know a little bit more about that gameplay. All right. Flex doesn't change the game. Flex is the game. Oh, cool. I'm so glad you put these superlatives here. And AR, once again, damn it, augmented reality board game that brings pro sports to life. Cool. I'd like to see this spotlight a little bit more. Uh, it looks good. Flex, NBA, hand-drawn artwork, augmented reality, cool, we, we know, we know, it's like, you're like Timmy, right, Timmy, 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 we know, we know Timmy. Flex is a revolutionary new professional sports gaming platform that brings the nostalgia of board games together with spellbanding AR. Oh, that, that really, I don't like the wording there. Flex is a revolutionary new professional sports... So what, you're saying revolutionary. Like, ugh, is, it, is it really that revolutionary what you're doing? Because you saying that gets my expectations so high. But anywho, hopefully you will crush it out of the park. Uh, professional sports gaming platform that brings the nostalgia of board games. I don't like that wordage. Like, especially, like, a lot of the people that are, that are probably going to buy... Like, if you get this into Target, then yes, I would actually agree with that quote. And that's a great quote to have potentially on the box once it's already made. You know, all that good stuff. But when you're trying to appeal to people like me, who are gamers, who just love the NBA as well. Because that is a cross-section. You know, gamers, gaming is getting huge. Gaming is getting absolutely massive. Uh, so, but when you say nostalgia board games, it's like, oh, you're, that means you haven't played any modern board games you'd realize that uh, it just looks bad to me. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm very curious to see if anyone else feels the same way about how that is worded. Uh, the first release of, is officially licensed by the NBA and the BNB... Timmy! Once again, I feel like that's the fifth time you've told me this. I get it. I get it. It features professional basketball players. Like, I know. Like, how do, how do you... Like, why do you keep saying the same things over and over again? The first release is officially licensed... Okay. Okay, so TechCrunch, Sequoia Games looks to capitalize on NBA Top Shot fever with an AR tabletop game. Why is that what you're going with? That is literally just them saying that you're doing this Kickstarter project. That's not exciting. <laughs> okay, cool. A magazine said that you're doing something. Yippee. Like, that's not a good quote. That's, uh, eh. Officially licensed... By the NBA and the MBPP. Do how many times? How many times are you gonna tell me this? Stop it! Stop it! How to play the game? Cool. That's a novel concept to put that there after telling me that it is officially licensed six times. Also, I need to stay focused. Do I want it? It's taking a serious hit, making me slog through all this. But yes, you still got kind of a check mark there. Can you do it? You have not proven to me anything in any way, shape, or form. How much is it? I do not know yet. So I'm not liking your initial structure of this Kickstarter page. It's not very informative. It's insanely repetitive. Build your fantasy team. Each athlete has two or three special skills called flexes. Check these out on their player tiles and create an undefeatable starting lineup. And then we have this video that is, whoa, what is, is well, this is a terrible, like, oh, okay, cool. Now we see stuff. Uh, this is. Okay, I'm going to break apart this video. Okay, first scene. This is a great scene. Love this scene. Awesome. Not a good scene. 
Not a good scene. Not a good scene. <laughs> like, what do those add to the GIF or the GIF? I don't care how you pronounce it. Okay. I, I Man, I'm, I'm really... I'm trying here. Don't miss the FX tiles that bring your players to the top of their game. These could be coaches that change the game. Literally. Basketball shoes that boost your moves. Sports drinks that fuel you up. Okay. So there's power-ups. And there's coaches which are going to have uh, presumably some sort of asymmetrical aspect to the game. And once again... Your lack of current board game knowledge is just absolutely bursting through the seams right now. And if you just worded things differently, it wouldn't. Like, I'm here for you, too. Like, I always look at this from the marketing perspective. And I feel like what you're saying here are great things, but you're just advertising them terribly. Uh, it just makes me feel like you've probably never played Pandemic. You've probably play, ever played Ticket to Ride. Or if you had like... You've probably not played any of the tens of thousands of hobby board games out there right now. And that makes me wonder, oh, the gameplay and mechanisms are this. How simplistic are they going to be? Or if you have, it's like, yeah, we played Catan a couple times and now we made our own board game. That sort of situation. Which I've seen, quite literally, hundreds of that play out on Kickstarter. Uh, that is that is like the, the beginning story of so many board games. Yeah, I played Catan and then I made my own game. It's crazy. But anywho, continuing on. Meet your friends on the court. You and your opponents take turns on flex on each other. You and your opponents take turns to flex on each other. Oh, that's why. Yeah, the clip of the guy flexing because it's called flex. Outflex your enemy and watch their confidence points drop. Whenever a player's CP reaches zero, they're out of the game. What, is that? what does this mean? You and your opponents take turns to flex on each other. That means nothing to me at all. Outflex your enemy and watch their confident points drop. So I'm assuming that's their life point. Whenever a player's life point reaches zero, they're out of the game. It's your job to crush all your opponent's player's confidence. You and your opponents start the game with five player tiles and ten FX tiles each. Whoever rolls the highest starts. Uh, okay, so we put players... Uh, I guess this is good if you really want to get into the weeds. I don't... Like, just to, how about a video of you playing it would be great. Like, that's... Or you setting it up. Or you just... Yeah, just play a game of it. Wow, that looks really cool. That's neat. That's really cool. Alright. Anywho, rewards. $35. That's not bad. Deluxe starter kit. One-time all-star player tile. What does that mean? I hate the sound of that. Is this collectible? Dear God, stop. Guaranteed all NBA level player tiles. So the deluxe starter kit, you get the board, five player tiles. So if you buy the $35, you will get five random players, and they're going to guarantee you're going to get one all-star. Okay. Um, eh, eh, uh, red flags. Guaranteed all NBA level player tiles. So this one, you're going to get five random players, presumably, and two NBA All-Stars. So you might have a player in that seven that you like. You might. You might not. <laughs> like, I might get Kevin Durant. I might be like, I don't want Kevin Durant. That's not the NBA All-Star. Like, uh, uh, okay, keep going. $99. You get the game. You get five random players. And then you get, oh, one MVP level player tile oh make it stop make it stop so you're guaranteed to get one of the best players okay so i want to know how many tiers there are here you didn't really go into that i already okay so then we have this five all-star level play oh so this is all-star level players oh no, no no that's regular players so this one comes... Oh, so we're going to get five All-Stars. Cool. We're going to get three All-NBA level player tiles and two... And okay, so this is the one they want you to get. This is the one we're like, hey, we're actually going to give you a whole bunch of great players. Uh, and then this one. Five... $500. The original legendary Stephen Curry mock-up tile signed by Founder. So signed by Founder. First and foremost, I don't know what that means... I'm assuming it's meaning the artist and not actually Steph Curry. 
Because those are two very different things. If it's signed by Steph Curry, then this is this price point is completely realistic. If this is like a really once in a lifetime kind of thing. Um, so I would like some clarification there. Hopefully it's over here. But I'm going to keep going on this ride because that's what I do on this, this show. <laughs> we go on a ride. And boy howdy, they got us on a ride. So, whew, I thought for sure there's going to be something higher. So $499. So let's take a look at this. I'm assuming this is going to be the most popular one. Uh, 33, so yeah, 30, so what, you have 17 out of 50. Why do you only have 50? That's odd. I would assume that would be the pledge level that, uh, so this is going to give you two, so this is going to give you a higher chance to get more players, so you're guaranteed to get more players. Uh, 17, 83, 199, so 24, what is this, the 399 eight backers i don't i don't understand i don't understand the world <laughs> and then 499 dollars uh one person bought that and then the all mvp bundle oh of course where is it <laughs> what why why don't you have this pledge level is it that limited no there's so there's 10 there's 10 of those but we're just not going to tell you about it we got this whale we want all 10 bought because if all 10 get bought that's a whole boatload of cash we just made okay <laughs> so how what we're gonna do is we're gonna have this amazing 100 extra like you don't even tell me what it is well okay i'll go right over here receive three mvp player player tile booster packs each including the one deluxe starter kit which allows blah 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 what's what's the new what's the difference two fx tiles this one comes with six fx tiles what are fx tiles uh so this one also comes with three Ultra FX tiles. This one only has two Ultra FX tiles. I don't know what an Ultra FX tile is. Oh, an Ultra FX tile is... Yep, no clue. Oh, that's the special effects. That's right, because there's all the other stuff. So pretty much, they have created a pay-to-win board game. That's that's what this is. This is Clash Royale board game. Um, I... Don't think this is for me. <laughs> you know, I would like to try out the gameplay itself. I think it looks like a cool game. But the actual, like, collecting of it, like, that that's a bit too pricey for me. Alright, so let's take a look more at it. Your favorite players. So once again, this is also really annoys me. You know what would be great right here? A shipping section. Just a shipping section. Right after the price. Hit me with a shipping. And I could be done right now. But I do want to see more. I want to see some quotes about people who played the game. A game like no other. Players come to life before your eyes. The gameplay, the artwork. Oh, this looks great. Oh, look at this. Everything is a basketball move. What's this? Roll the... So, yeah, this is what I want to see. Jesus. This is the stuff you need to be highlighting way earlier. This is the stuff you need in the video. This will get the people who are gamers to say, oh, look at that. Look at all those... Look at all that. You know, hopefully there's a player reference card. But look at all those attributes here. We got special abilities that you have to unlock. This looks like a board game. This tells me that you have played those games that I didn't think you had played. And it's all in the phrasing. It's all in how you wrote things. But how many people might not get down to here after they read a couple of those and they go, ugh, this sounds like one of those people who played Monopoly and they made their own game. That sort of thing. Whereas this, this one shot right here of, what is that? Is that Russ? I think it's Russell Westbrook. Yeah, that one shot of Russell Westbrook tells me so much more than I need to know. And it's buried all the way down here. Put that higher. Put that so much higher. The gameplay, the artwork, looks cool and i would spotlight the backs of these too like i said you're not just appealing to nba fans you get the cross promotion you can do officially nba license once again we get it we get it with the redundancy what's included yes this should be great quite honestly i would have seamlessly interweave this into your price structure up here uh, i feel like in this you focused a little bit too much on you know the pay to win structure of your kickstarter which I'm not going to dog it for, because it looks like if you fine-tune some things and maybe relaunch this, you can make a boatload of cash. Because you got a built-in NBA fan base that, that, yeah. But anywho, I would focus much more on what's inside this box before you get to the price point, or as you get to the price point. Because let's see if I'm going to be wowed, because once again, this is a $35 game. That's not terribly expensive. Alright, player tiles. See your player level, confidence player, player types, flexes, and more. Okay, this looks cool cool fx tiles okay so these are going to be the <clears throat> sports strength the ball die rolled in the beginning to see who goes first play action die damage chips this is all good this is all the gamery stuff i want to see dear god don't show that rule book <laughs> oh my god no 
Stop it, Flex. Get that off. That is such an eyesore. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> um. So first and foremost, is the rule booklet black and white? Because if this is actually what the rule booklet is going to look like, this is quite... Lo I'm pretty sure they just photocopied this. Did they just photocopy this in black and white and then take a picture? Like, what the hell is that image? Uh, I gotta zoom in on that. I gotta zoom in on that. That is the ugliest... Oh, my, my, my internet has been screwing up lately. But that, uh, that picture right there, and I want to go back to that, because I believe that is exactly what it is. That is a photocopied picture <laughs> that's in black and white, and then they took that, and they put it there. That looks so insanely ugly and terrible. It immediately is a gigantic red flag, and you, you did it to yourself. I I would be upset if you didn't have a link to the... Like, do you have a PDF of this? Put a link to the PDF! Like, most people won't even click on it. But they'll like the fact that it's there. This is... This is abysmal! That is... Get that picture out of here! God! Get a break. That is so bad! I can't get over that. Like, it's not even in color! <laughs> it's not... And then... It... Oh... Okay, go. Okay, we're gonna keep moving on. Hey, cool. Good looking artwork. The tech behind Flex. The gameplay is legendary, but it's only half the story. Flex's innovative technology opens a new realm of gaming. The Flex Companion app uses augmented reality to bring players and FX tiles to life right in front of your eyes. Cool. Finally, you can experience it for yourself. Simply float your phone over the game board and hover. And once again, we're seeing the same clip that we've seen over and over and over and over and over and over again. And we've probably seen this clip right here at least. Four times, I'm gonna guess, maybe three, but 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 how many times are you gonna show the same things over and over again? It's not just the players with cool animation. Flex tiles have AR moves of their own. They are endless possibilities to unlock. Oh, there's endless possibilities to stop showing me the same ones. Finally, play the game either as a board game or through your mobile device to see the tiles you have to play with. So, that's worded very weirdly. It sounds like you both. Yeah, it sounds like you can play this on your phone, but I'm actually thinking that you can't. Finally, play the game either as a board game or through your mobile device to see the tiles you have to play with. So I think what that means is you can, like, mess with your tiles outside the game. Once again, this should be clarified. And it's all in your verbiage. It's all in your communication skills. Um, one thing that is reeking right now is the fact that I don't think you went and looked at other popular Kickstarter tabletop games, which... If you end up relaunching this, which I think, I don't normally recommend that, but I think that is totally something you should consider doing. Go look at, like, the top ten and look at the way they do things. How they handle their businesses, the videos, the structures, the layout of the components. Take notes and, and do that with this. And I think this could blow people's pants off, quite frankly. I do. I really do. You've shown me enough on the back of those tiles to say, ooh, this reeks of gaminess. Every single character is going to be its own ace. Every single player is going to be its own asymmetrical character in this game. In theory, right? With all those stats and those attributes, I would assume. And, and that gets people excited. Officially NBA license. Stop it. How many times? How many times? Timmy! Like, stop it. Our game-changing tech doesn't just look good. Just, that's just floating there. Okay. <laughs> the artwork of Flex. A group of sports artists came together to depict your favorite players as the superheroes that they are. Now they exist in their own universe with a vibe. What? Okay. What is this ad? With a vibe. <laughs> is it just me or that doesn't make that doesn't make any sense? Like, I, I just... Check out the full roster of tiles for the Season 1 of Flex NBA. Oh, that's great. That's great. That's exactly what I want to see. Why is this... Buried all the way down here. So we got Drum, Wiggins. So wait, how many we got? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. We got a lot. Oh my gosh. And this is the website that you were trying to get me to go to. So you actually do have a good looking website. It's just you put the wrong link there. Once again, these are all self-inflicted wounds. Introduce COVID. 
These are all self-inflicted wounds on this Kickstarter page. And I'm going to guess that this is already made. I'm going to guess that this is literally probably just a pre-order. Let's see when this thing's shipping out. Yeah, July. This is a pre-order. Uh, in that case, I would totally recommend relaunching this. You know, get on Fiverr, get your graphic designer, whoever it is, fix so much of this, especially the way you worded things. Come back, make this look like the hobby game that it might potentially be, and then you're going to snatch up all those NBA fans regardless. Because here's the bottom line. This Kickstarter doesn't look very good. I don't think it looks very good at all. But you're still four times over five, despite the fact you're in the wrong freaking category. <laughs> like, ah, because you have the NBA license. You have this golden goose right here, and right now, you're not grabbing the eggs, you're grabbing the poo. Like, it's just, ah, like, do your Kickstarter research on how to run the project, man. What does partnering with Flex in the NBA mean to you? It means my biggest dream from the kid. So once again, it means we're not going to get sued. 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 You know what? Just put that in giant text right at the front. Just one time. We have the license. We will not get sued. Rest assured. And then, the, then, then the rest. Just like, but don't keep saying it over and over again. Yes, there's no question about the artist. Jesus Christ, top-notch artist here. Uh, excellent work. All those looks really awesome. All right. So May launch day on Kickstarter. July begin delivery to backers. So yeah, it is <clears throat> okay. Meet the team. Uh, so we got a big team. Sequoia Games. Meet the CEO. What is this? Okay. With regards to culture and the team. 62 subscribers. So so what that shows, what I'm searching for here is to see if there was like a, a large pre-built audience that was going to like jump on this. Because I'm trying to see any other reasons why this would have the $60,000. Because it's four times overfunded. Which looks like it should, you know, like, oh, well, that's great. But it's this is an NBA licensed game. An NBA licensed augmented reality game with asymmetrical characters for each NBA players. And they have the license to do this. And they have the spectacular artwork. And they have cool little things and level ups and all sorts of stuff like that. And it's just, it's not, it's, it's uh, the first Kickstarter officially licensed by the NBA. God, we get it. We get it. The number one product launch company since 2010. A20. Managed and promoted. Well, I, I'm not impressed, A20. Maybe you are top-notch when it comes to product design products, but in the board game realm, this is this is not a particularly good-looking Kickstarter in any way, shape, or form. All right, and why, why are these limited? I don't understand why these are limited. Maybe that's part of the NBA licensing thing? They can only make 50 copies of it, but then this one's 105? I don't even know. I don't even know. It's weird. It's wonky. It's whatever. It's And it's nothing unexpected from this Kickstarter right here. I mean, this Kickstarter has just been quite the ride. So, let's check out the FAQ, the updates, and the comments, because i got a decision to make. I always rank these things. A zero, a one, or a two. A zero means this Kickstarter is not worth the time of the day. Get the hell out of here. It's not a good Kickstarter. One means, you know, watch a gameplay video, back it for a dollar, come back in the last 48 hours and make a decision. And two means back it for the whale. Back it for the whale is $599, and they don't even advertise it. So, you know what? I'm definitely not going with a two. Two is gone. Sorry, NBA Flex. You have a one or you have a zero. And right now, I am teetering between the two. And it's really hard for me to do because I am a gigantic NBA fan. I am a fanboy. I love basketball. I grew up watching basketball, and I want to, to see this succeed. I also want to stop stuttering. Um, and it has everything that it needs to succeed, but it's just... Uh, I don't... I, I guess the fact that it's a pre-order makes me feel comfortable with can you do it. And what I would do is I would recommend kind of maybe if you ever do retweet this, go look at how High Noon did their Kickstarter project. It's a it's a, it's a a Wild West board game. And what they did was they pretty much just own the fact that this was a pre-order, which normally is something a bit taboo on Kickstarter. Because a lot of people like dog it, especially in the board game. They're like, oh, you're using this as like a pre-order system. And But the bottom line is, I understand why. It's a great financial decision from a company perspective because it takes away a lot of the risk. But since this is a pre-order, I would own up to the the fact this is a pre-order i would make all those different sorts of tweaks because then when i see it's a pre-order like just show me the box like i'm assuming you have a physical copy of this game uh that that you've gotten 
already if you're this far along in the process show me that box and hopefully that's in the update that's what i'd love to see here this is me unboxing uh the pledge the the, the, the game which is going to be included in every single one uh there's so we're opening this we're taking this out and now i'm actually going to physically be playing a game of this and so we've got a two-player game set up and then you play the game and you just you just shoot that just shoot that video post that up and immediately can you do it is done that is answered but you didn't you didn't do that and that i can't i gotta hold that against you hopefully the update that update that one update is gonna redeem everything how much is it though i think it's reasonably priced except i don't have shipping hopefully the shipping is right here five dollars shipping wowie maui that's great shipping canada eight dollars australia so that's the other thing i have a problem with this kickstarter is the fact i don't know what size this box is i have no concept in any way shape or form of how large this box is oh and once again i want to i want to actually look at some of these components because these look like the physical components that are going to be in the game and your stupid video is going stupid fast oh i see a guy flexing i don't want to see a guy flex i want to look at the components is this a player mat is this a board you know i see di so that's a lakers is that the celtics how do i get different ones are those also collectible is everything about this game collectible how does all this stuff work and it could all be solved with a video and it you didn't put it there why would you not put it there that is such a no-brainer and it's one of those things that shows me that you did absolutely no research into how to market a board game so all the money you're paying to a20 man I, I hate to do it but it's this is bad this is so bad you don't have game you don't i i don't know what size of this box is i don't know what kind of box this is is this is this one of those stupid little flop over the top you know foldable gonna throw out boxes or is this like an actual pull up box like a board game box is this a neoprene mat is this a board you know what what's the thickness of these tiles all this sort of stuff is just not here can you do it i'm gonna give it a check mark just because it's a pre-order so it is the weakest possible check mark that you can get in my rating system, but they have got it. The do I want it? They are also at one of the weakest possible things. So how much is it? I think it's a reasonable price. So I'm going to give this game the weakest one I could possibly ever give it on my rating scale. Can the signed Steph Curry tile be scanned into the game? The Steph Curry mock tile is a commemoration of the testing of this game from 2017. It is not playable in the game. It is signed by the creator. See this looks so bad this looks so terrible it looks like you're being intentionally misleading can the signed steph curry tile be step scanned into the game so you keep saying the creator be honest say the creator of the game because it looks too everyone right now and let me know i shouldn't say everyone it looks to me like right now you are banking on the fact that someone might maybe might just be dumb enough to say oh steph curry sign it 4.99 yeah like like some 19 20 year old with a whole boatload of cash i was actually that kid you know my mom died when i was very very young and i got a huge chunk of life insurance money when i was 18 i blew it on the stupidest stupidest things made so many poor choices in my life dear god it took like a whole decade to recover from everything but the bottom line is i could totally see myself being that 18 19 year old stupid kid that i was and just be like oh my gosh it's steph curry sign if i was a steph curry fan i like steph curry he's not great you know he's not one of my top five but anywho uh it's just the, uh, i don't like that it's phrased i don't like how it's phrased at all and it looks misleading if i order now am i guaranteed to be a first one? and i hope that's not what you're doing but that's what it looks like and once again it's just in how you're presenting yourself if i order now am i guaranteed a first mint bundle we have a limited quantity of first mint edition bundles oh so that is why the limited copies completely understand wait wait a second so if these sell out that then means that i have to go to the 55 dollars level and then i have to go to the 99 oh uh, no 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 so if 17 people back this this second right now because they're watching this video theoretically then i immediately have to pay the 55 dollars version i have to give this a zero this is a zero project i cannot i cannot i've tried i've tried to make this relationship work and i can't do it there's too many red flags and i cannot do it with you anymore this is a zero kickstarter this is one of the poorest ran kickstarters that i've ever seen in doing probably about 200 of these and i've looked at thousands of other kickstarters in my board game time and this is just 
and it, and it's ah, it's all self inflicted. It's all self inflicted. Okay. Let's keep going on those FAQs though. Uh, I love Clash Royale. All right. When will the companion app come in, and how will the tile registration work? Cool. That's a good thing to have. Once again, that'd be a good thing to have in a video. In that one video that I talked about, where you literally unbox the game and play a game of it, and I would see exactly how every single thing ran. And then you could even take the clips out of that video and start splicing them in throughout the Kickstarter page instead of the insanely repetitive clips you decided to use over and over and over and over again. Which I mentioned. Like, these are all just things that just seem obvious from a marketing perspective to me. You don't want to be stale in your first date. And you're stale in your first date right here. As all packs are randomized, there's a possibility to get doubles of a tile either in the starter kit or a future booster packs. Uh, <clears throat> so your chance, so they're low. So your chance of getting two of the same are quite low, but it could still happen. <laughs> so they're like, yeah, it could happen. Uh, yep. They're just like, yep, damned if you do. But hey, what ifs. Moving on. What are the same tiles made? What are the tiles made of and how durable are they? Wow, an FAQ. That's a frequently asked question. Hmm, that'd be the kind of thing that you should uh, probably immediately notice every other Kickstarter game does on the regular basis if you looked into other Kickstarter tabletop games. Mm. How does the marketplace work? Our website will feature an Amazon or eBay style portal that allows you to purchase player tiles. We do not accept cryptocurrency. Putting the cart in front of the horse there, but hey, I guess not because this is a pre-order. You already know what's going to happen. All right, I don't, I doubt, I doubt you knew that this video was going to happen. Wow, I was really hoping. I had high hopes for this. Ha ha, hopes. Don't get, ta don't take me down, Brandon. Our website will feature an Amazon or eBay style port. So does that also mean that it's going to be a place to trade tiles and trade boards? Because if that is the case. I love that idea, and I think that's a brilliant idea buried, unfortunately, in the FAQ, whereas in that video, once again, that video, that video you had underwhelmed me right from the gate, and information like this into that video could have made that video a banger. You have everything you potentially need here to have an absolutely spectacular dare I say it, million dollar board game Kickstarter, which if you do some reachers, you'll see are quite frequent in our hobby. But you didn't. It's not too late. Pull it down. Pull this, tear this wall down, Gorbachev. Relaunch this Kickstarter and I, I all but guarantee you, with, with everything you have here, if you could just combine it and cut out 70% of the garbage, reword a lot of the stuff, this is a great Kickstarter. How many players are needed to play a game? That's a great. X allows you to play 5v5, 4v4, 3v3, 2v3, or even 1v1. Wait. Wait. Have we not heard about the time length, the player count, and the age on this game? No, no, no. I literally am surrounded by, uh, I actually have the exact number. I finally just figured out counting, uh, which I need to admin that video. I have like, it's like 1,300 something games around here. And, and, and it's, and every single one of them, except for maybe like one or two, has that information listed front and center. And the fact that it is not on this Kickstarter page anywhere. I don't remember seeing it anywhere. It's just, it is mind-boggling the amount of things that you decided not to include on this page that should be at the front and instead of just answering the question honestly you once again this looks really bad on you your faq how many players do you need to play the game so fixed nba allows you to play 5v5 4v4 so right now i'm saying oh so i could play two to ten players this is a two to ten player game i could play it two four six eight or ten players that's exciting no 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 this is me having read thousands and thousands of these things uh i'm pretty sure what they're saying with this first sentence is actually those are the different ways that you can play our board game they're not talking about how many players you need oh oh so it keeps going it keeps going but once again if you just read that first sentence it just looks misleading and how many people are just going to read that first sentence and, and stupidly run into it and it looks like you're trying to do that. It's up to you. The rule booklet will explain everything. You don't necessarily need two starter kits. You can have one starter kit, which will provide you the rule booklet and the die. Then you can buy expansions with additional player tiles. Based on the number of player tiles you and your opponent use. So, so, oh, oh. 
Does that mean the $35 level, I cannot play two players? It's 5v5? Oh my goodness. That is what that means, isn't it? Oh, Lordy. Oh, this Kickstarter. Okay. Let's see. So, yeah. So, I'm going to have five player tiles. I will have six tiles. So, the $35 level, I can play three versus three. I think. Maybe. Because <laughs> that's the most players you're going to have. But there's only five spots on the board. So, how does that work? Will that mean that I will, in fact, need to... Uh, does that mean I can't play the game at $35? That can't mean that. That can't mean that. No, it does. It means I can play 2v2 or 1v1. <sighs> no. No, it just keeps getting worse. It just keeps getting worse. The further I go into this Kickstarter, this is one of the worst ones I've ever seen. So, the, at the $35 level, this is a two-player game, correct me if I'm wrong, that can play... You can either have a one-on-one -on -one contest, basketball-wise, or a two-on-two -two contest. That's what it looks like to me. And if that is, in fact, the case, I see why you hit it. And, it, and at that point, I say, good on you for not bringing it up. But, as Bauer from Bauer's Game Corner, who has to look through this with a fine-tooth cone... That is a gigantic, glaring red flag that makes me realize I need to immediately, I think, make a, another follow-up video uh, before you back on this. Just because of how... It's not even clearly... So, I, okay. I am going to get into the, the comments section. I'm very interested to see what other people say. If you like a hardback game board, you should buy a second... Okay. Based on the number of player tiles... Oh, wait, wait, wait. So, you can have one starter kit, which will provide you the rule booklet and the die. Then... You can buy expansions with additional player tiles based on the number of player tile you and your opponent own. You can play. What? If you'd like a hardback game board, you should buy a second starter kit, though, as only one game board is provided in a starter kit. Oh, okay. So it is a 2v2 game, but little brother doesn't get a game board. Oh, this is, this is not good. This is not good. Thank you. We hit our goal in less than 30 minutes. No one cares. This is a bad update. Why do I know it's a bad update? Because once again, we have zero people comment. You didn't engage anybody with this. Not a one person. You got 269 people. No one thought this was the worthwhile comment. Except for these five who gave it a heart. And that's because they, they just love the idea of the NBA. Apparently. We've stroked... We're stoked to get a mention in TechCrunch. Feel free to check out the article below and we'll continue to share more with all our backers, supporters from around the globe. Thanks, everyone, and keep the questions coming in. Love the feedback. <sighs> okay. Can you not make this clickable? Is that is that something you can do? I'm pretty sure you can probably make that clickable. I think that's one of the options I remember. I've ran Kickstarter before. So, uh, I've had clickable links. So why not make it clickable for us? That just seems nice. And once again... Why, this, so this is what you spotlighted. Uh, you can you can feel free to use the Bowers Game Corner one as well. We mentioned you on Bowers Game Corner as well. I don't think they'll probably be doing that. Are you allowed to run duplicates on the same player? I really hope the answer is no. Okay. Uh, will there be a way for... Oh, this is 20 hours ago. Okay. Okay. Cool. So right now we're seeing very poor customer service. All right. And you had... I thought you had a collaborator, right? You had one collaborator? Because a collaborator is a person who can help with the customer service. Agency 2.0, who... Whew, I, I gotta check out their work at some point. And then Perfection. So it looks like these people are probably not going to be helping you in the customer service. So it means there's one person doing the customer service. Which explains why there's a 20-hour lap. But it looks bad. Especially when you have the freaking NBA license! God! Okay. Get back on track back on track i've already awarded this to zero but now it's just i like i like to look at it from the perspective and say how can i help so get anyone who can help you out who is willing to help you out uh maybe you pay them on the side and say i just need you to be in the comment section to answer things for me if they happen to arise because right now the bottom line is you're 21th at your 21st why do i keep saying 21st you're 21st in popularity on product design you have no stretch goals, you have no daily unlocks, you have no videos, you have nothing exciting at all in this Kickstarter page that is going to draw people to the Kickstarter page. That was a harsh dose of reality there. 
But the reason why I'm saying that is the reason why you need those things is because it it gets people excited about the project and it bumps you up higher on the popularity chart, which is where people are going to be much more likely to see you. Uh, because right now, somebody has to scroll down seven rows to even get to your project, and as more projects launch that do have stretch goals, that do have active and engaged audience who are really popping in the updates and in the comments, because the updates are good, they end with questions, always end with a question, end your next update with a question, and see the difference. Um, but all that stuff tickles the Kickstarter algorithm, and right now, so you gotta have better customer service. Uh, and I understand you're one person, but reach out to somebody. Will there be a way for us to know how many of each tile will be in circulation? Will rarity be based on a star level? It will not be numbered. We will be publishing the percentage of each player tile there. We will go live with sales after pre-orders are complete. Okay. So pretty much what they're saying there is, hey, yeah, we can sell 50 LeBron Jameses. We can, and if we run out, of, if we sell 50 LeBron Jameses, then we can sell 50 more LeBron Jameses. And if we sell 50 more LeBron Jameses, we're going to sell 50 more LeBron Jameses. That's pretty much what they're saying there. Which... It looks bad, but it is what it is. Hello, I ordered a Supreme Pack the first day it was available. Now it seems to be way better deals. Here is what my 699 pledge says I will receive. Should I cancel and move into one of the better options available? Ugh, the Steph Curry mock tile is extremely limited. It's the only Flex Infinity product that will not be available after pre-orders, making it the most difficult piece to get, although it's not playable in the game. So it's not playable in the game. It's not signed by Steph Curry. It is quite literally... A piece of artwork of Steph Curry signed by a dude who made a board game that you have not played, that there are no reviews of, and that is trying, maybe not trying, I shouldn't say trying, I shouldn't assume nefariousness. I should not assume that people are being nefarious. My, my wife says I'm really bad about that and I need to get better about that. But it looks like you're being nefarious with how you're wording it. Like, uh, okay, keep going. Well, look at the above. That is what I'm getting for $699. That is what you have listed now. This below is more what I'm by game receiving, correct? Uh, okay. You can adjust your pledge without losing your place in line. Whatever. Are you guys hitting the pavement to gain some ground on this before the end of the campaign? Colin Cowherd, Dan Patrick, some of the other sports influencers to get the ball rolling. Also, you're going to create a BGG page for the space. Oh my gosh, yes. Gay K, yeah, gay K, Gak, Gak again. Wow, I don't know. <laughs> Gakian has it right. I totally forgot to mention that. That was something I was going to mention at the beginning, but quite literally they have done nothing but overwhelming me with just things to critique. Uh, yes, you need to be on Board Game Geek because once again, there is a huge market of people who would be interested in this game. You got to realize the board game hobby is generally well off. I'm lower middle class, but I know because I've met a lot of the people at these conventions Dropping four, five, six hundred dollars is nothing. And if they want, if their son loves Steph Curry and they absolutely want the Steph Curry one, you know, like there is a market there, and you're not tapping into it at all. You need to get on Board Game Geek. We are already building a marketing campaign. We hope to have launched very soon. Stay tuned. The world will get out. This is only the beginning, and our early adopters will be rewarded for the first in line. Thanks for your support. Hey, Daniel, he gave you an amazing recommendation, and you didn't even freaking acknowledge it. Oh, ah, ah. What will happen when all stock is sold? If that happens anyway. What will happen when all stock is sold if that happens anyway? Anyways, if that happens anyways. Okay, the bottom line is, the question is slightly hard to decipher, but you still don't get to ignore it. Once that's sold, we'll start looking into round two, and we'll start contacting people with more artwork, or whatever the answer may be. But but it's here, it's, it's there, and it's, it looks so ugly that you didn't answer it. I got it now. You need to select edit word to say yes. Uh, I don't see a change your pledge options. Updating? Is there any chance of updating pledge without looking back? Start So once again, more self-inflicted wounds that we're not even seeing. You have made tweaks. And here's what I recommend you do. You quite obviously have made tweaks already. You take this down. Take it down. And redo it. And you're going to have yourself so much more cash. Uh, what exactly do you get with the 409 would get everything in the lower level? Does that include the other combos? So it's just people who are confused. Kind of confused on this one. <laughs> I literally just said that. Uh, what is the lowest level to get all six MVPs? It won't let me place three of them. A pre-order. This is the, I just, I, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. My neck's starting to hurt. My back's starting to hurt. My brain's starting to hurt. This is the worst ran Kickstarter project that I've ever seen in my time. You know what? I can't say that. 
I can't say that. I can't say that. I've looked at because I even I do a segment called Kickstarter Slumming where I look at quite literally the the bottom most popular projects, and there's a lot of spectacular things in this Kickstarter project. I will say that this is the most the most poorly ran Kickstarter that I've ever seen. The amount of amazing things they have to offer and to showcase and to spotlight and to highlight are so deeply ingrained in this absolute monstrosity of badness and not doing your damn homework and that's why i am giving flex mba a zero it's unfortunate i would love to try out the game someday because i love basketball and once again that one the one time i saw it i was excited about what was on your tiles but 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 i gotta be done flex mba and ar board game that brings pro sports to life i'm awarding this a zero I would not, you know what, but unless you're, unless you're willing to gamble $35, uh, I don't even know, I don't even know anymore, I don't even know, but if you enjoy what I'm doing, uh, please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below, and as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.